morning everyone I am so sleepy I don't know why because it's not late and I had a really good lay in it's 930 uh, let's see what's gone on this morning nothing much I just made a very long list of things that I need to get done today I'll read that to you in a minute uh, Brandon went to the gym and then when he came back bash woke up and he they're downstairs now having breakfast I got up, put a little makeup on just for motivation because today we have a lot of things to do. And today's pretty much going to be an at-home day. I mean, let's be honest, where am I going this pregnant? And it's freezing outside and it's raining outside today too, so we're not going anywhere. Like I said, I just made this list, so I'll just let you know so you can keep me accountable in the comments if I don't finish it off. The first thing I have on here is just to remove my nail polish. We cannot keep going around like this. My toes look just the same and I hate hate chipped nail polish it makes me look like I have dirty underwear that's just how I feel and I don't I promise even with pregnancy those underwear stay clean I also need to put some more baby laundry in the washer let's see uh put padding back on the car seats they have to like lay flat to dry and I just they've been laying there flat to dry probably for like a week now Whew. I am still sleepy. I guess I need to add, add a nap on here. Then I need to clean and declutter all the surfaces in my bedroom. Everything has something on it. So I'm gonna do that today. We need to put the halo together. As you saw in the last video, it came. So I want to get that in here, but I can't do that until I clean up the room. I need to paint her bow tray, which you'll see. It just needs to be painted white to match her bookshelf, and then I can just display all her bows in it. Then I need to fold a basket of laundry that is already in my room that's probably been sitting in here for like a week. I've just been like lazy. This final two weeks of pregnancy have not been my finest hour. And then I need to pick up all of my tech equipment. So like right here is my ring light, over there is my box light, all down here on the floor because I just edited a video yesterday is like YouTube stuff. And then the last thing we need to do is vacuum. Also at some point I need to like be bouncing on the ball and um, I don't know, trying to bring this baby forth. But anyway, if I look a little different, it's because I took out my hair extensions and I literally look like Gollum from Lord of the Rings with three strands to my name. So when I start losing my hair postpartum, it's not gonna be cute. Uh, no! Vash and Brandon are finished with breakfast, so they're coming up now. Uh, uh, oh. Come here! What do you wanna say? More, please. More, please? <laughs> what do you want? More of. Show mommy your toenail. Your toenail? Mm -hmm. What happened? He has a little hangnail. Let me see your toe. Oh, mommy's gonna have to cut it. It's like his least favorite thing. I'd like to place a pickup order. Um, I'll have an all-star um, scrambled with cheese, hash browns, scattered, smothered, covered, and chunked, bacon, and plain toast. So Brandon was just like, why don't you just order Waffle House for us? So that's what we're gonna have, and I'm so excited. I really need to get dressed because this robe is not conducive to vlogging anymore. I am liable to flash you guys at any moment. They walk. No, Daddy's not at work. Daddy just went to go pick up the food. Daddy went to Waffle House. He'll be right back to play with you. So here's today's mom outfit. It's literally Good nothing. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Good morning, guys, he says. Uh, but I just figured I'd give you a bump shot before we start moving all around. This is 38 weeks plus four, and she has not dropped yet. So I'm gonna be getting on that ball later to try to work her way down. Ugh, big belly girl. Nice and big. Believe it or not, I did not get any stretch marks on my stomach, but I got them like everywhere else. Hey Bash, come here, you wanna help me? <laughs> You guys have been asking to see more bash, so here you go. Put one of these in here, just like that. Can I have a kiss? Go play with your ball. This is like some of the worst nail polish remover, either that or I haven't removed my own nail polish in, well, I haven't removed my own nail polish in, probably over a year at this point. Is that Stop screaming at her like that. That is his call for Pippa. No, 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 you don't kick her. No, my fingers are pink. Ugh, this is awful. I just made it worse. There we go. They don't look that pretty. And I pulled off my SNS, which you should not do. So I basically ripped off all of my fingernails. 
but at least they're not chipped anymore with the polish that I put on them while I wait to go back to the nail place. If you're wondering why there's a plant in my bathtub, uh, I'm trying to revive a peace lily. So I brought it into our bathroom to see if I could add like way more water to the plant and it came back to life. So I just need to move it back, but it's kind of heavy. So I may have Brandon do it later. Anyway, that is the first item checked off the list. Moving on. All right, so this is a baby laundry load of all of her mostly dark clothes or things that I don't care that get dark dye on them if they bleed. So basically the first thing I did was wash all the gray and white. Eventually I'll start washing them all together, but since a lot of this is new, I didn't want it to bleed. All the pink and red will be washed together. And then once, like I said, she's been wearing it for a while, we can wash them all together. I do need to wash a few things in here, but that'll be later. And yeah. Mommy. Yes, baby. Mommy. <laughs> Why are you being whiny? Mommy, please. Please what? Oh, I just realized I didn't take the polish off my toes. Me. Ugh, gotta go back and do that. Uh oh. What, baby? By the way, I was asked about these bins and if I could link these. These are something I've had for almost three years. It was like a part of like a three-tiered rolling tray that I used to keep like my breast pump and like diapers and stuff in when I had first had bash. So I can't link these. I know there's been a couple of y'all that have asked me to. I don't know what size they are. They're not really deep, but they're like wide enough, I guess, to fit three sets of onesies. Yeah, Margo, those are her things. Yeah, these are from Margo. Mm-hmm. That's Margot's shoe. Can we can we keep it nice? Let's keep it nice for sister. She'll be here next week. You have no idea what you're in for. But yeah, I'm so sorry. I can't link these, but hopefully you can find something similar. They're from like TJ Maxx or something. And they, like I said, they were part of like a rolling shelf thing. By the way, this is the bow holder that we're going to be painting at some point today. Yeah, there's two so there's two shoes, that's right. Everybody has two shoes. And this is how I'll store her bows because this is all she has for now, minus the ones that are in my hospital bag. I can link these bows. Oh, I think Brandon just got back with the food. All of these came in a set together for about 15 bucks off Amazon. These are baby bling bows that my friend Brooke sent me. These are, I think, this whole thing, but they came separate, are the brand Little Treasures. I have a pink one like this and another pink one like these. Daddy's here. Yeah, Daddy's here. These are the pads that we need to put back on the car seat. And I wash all of her things in draft. I'm back in bed to eat my food. My bed is like headquarters. I always come back here to do it everything that involves sitting down these days. So I'm just gonna sit here for like, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, eat, watch a little bit of Homeland, because I'm obsessed with this show right now. Oh, I am out of breath, and then we'll get back to my list. Oh, I'm so full. Why do I feel cold air blowing on me? So I got the instructions here, and I'm just gonna sit here and do this and I'll probably put you on a time lapse so that you aren't bored watching me try to reassemble all of this stuff back onto here. <laughs> So I have everything on except this part, which is just an infant insert, but I don't, <laughs> this is so hard. Oh my gosh, I should have took a video of when I undid it so that I could put it back on easier. I had to call my friend and she was able to help me. She said it just flaps like this. So if you guys know or have this, let me know down below. Does yours just flap like this too? Um, and I just looked on like three YouTube videos and everybody's just kind of just sits there. This seems like it would be so uncomfortable, like a bump in the baby's back, but it's the only way that makes sense. Either way, I'm gonna leave it as is for now. This, again, is the Uppa Baby Mesa car seat. Looks like this with the spelling. I just love this little car seat. I love the color. I think it's so cute. And, uh... I have it linked below. So believe it or not, it's about noon and I'm already hungry again. I, this is one of the reasons why I'm ready to have this baby because with her, I'm hungry all the time. And at this point, I'm not making healthy choices anymore. I'm just trying to satisfy my hunger. And that is why I've gained so much weight. So if you saw my last vlog, 
I think it's at like 2 11. I have been hungry my entire pregnancy and I'm over it because before I got pregnant I was very thin. I could go like the whole day and barely eat anything and so now having to eat like at least four meals a day and maybe like a little nibble or a snack here and there it's just honestly it's kind of like taxing because I hate the fact that I have to eat this much but I'm just hungry all the time so uh as you can see I'm in the laundry room I'm about to move Margot's clothes over to the dryer and then I'm going to probably get something to eat and then we can start painting the bow shelf Definitely need to drink more water today. I usually do really well with my water intake, but for the last two days I've been slacking. Um, over here we have our list. Did the nails, baby laundry in the washer, and I just put it in the dryer. Add the padding back to the car seat. Clean and declutter surfaces and room. I'll do that next. Put together the halo. Gotta do that later with Brandon. Paint bow tray. We'll go ahead and check that off now because we're doing it now. And then we'll fold my clothes, clean up, and vacuum once we're done with this. I'm just going to paint right here on my floor. I may lay something down underneath this and I'm eating a cinnamon roll because like I said, I'm not making healthy choices at the moment. Stand back. So we have paint coat number one on. I think it's gonna probably take several paint coats to make it look smooth, but this is the first one. I didn't do the bottom, just the outer edges and the sides. But uh, once this dries, I'm gonna go over it again and again and again. Hopefully it'll start to look more smooth. Mama needed some rest. It's 2.41, so it's been a while since I've been on here. Brandon just brought me some Jimmy Johns. I've been laying down because I've just been in a lot of pain all of a sudden. I was using the ball and then I started laying down and just put it in between my legs while I waited for Brandon to bring the food up. As you can see down there, the paint is drying still. I think it'll need one more coat. And I'm just gonna sit here, watch Homeland, and then probably take a quick nap. I don't know what happened, but while I was like sitting there doing the painting a little bit ago, I suddenly just started to get into a lot of pain. Like new pain, like a new pain on, like down here where I've not had pain before, so it's starting to get like uncomfortable. I think I am gonna take a little nap and then we'll pick back up with everything in a little while. It's just right now, I can't do it. I'm tired and hungry and in pain. So I'm gonna eat my sandwich. If you're wondering, this is a veto. Yes, I'm eating cold deli meat. Don't come at me in the comments, please. It's happening and it has happened multiple times during this pregnancy as well as sushi so it's fine and I will catch up with you guys later I'm just I need a break okay so it's much later it's now 803 so it's basically nighttime I've been working and resting sitting on my ball folding clothes these were all the clothes that were in the basket that need to get put away so I folded them all I've also hung up all of the blue and things that I showed you that were in the dirty laundry basket well they weren't dirty but they just needed to be washed because they were new and then I folded all of the onesies that were also in that load as well hi little Pippa the tray has been painted twice and is completely dry now and it looks great so that means I can start putting all of her bows in here all done I'm gonna try to keep it this nice looking the entire time so I have this area of my room straightened up which is the baby's area I cleaned off what was on her changing table now all it is is these three little like loveys this stuff right here is just our hospital bag stuff but at least this area is done checking back to our list i folded the basket of clothes in my room i cleaned up my tech equipment which means um, all of my 
lighting and everything is out of here. So like no more ring light over there. I did not vacuum because I did not dust. Most of the stuff that was collecting on the desk over there is off and that is postpartum stuff like my Depends over there. I need to find another place to put them. Probably in our hall closet until I need them. I'm about to fold all of these pink clothes and that will conclude pretty much everything. I need to straighten up my nightstand too. I didn't even have to ask him. He brought the box up tonight. He was very pleased with how clean the room looked, by the way. I've been working all day. What'd you say? I love a clean room. I know you do. I did it all for you. I'm sure. <laughs> Making progress on hanging up the pink clothes. Oh, I can't believe we're gonna have one of these again. One of y'all messaged me and said to be careful with this kind of bassinet because of the legs. And you're right, you definitely should. We had this same bassinet last time, so we're pretty used to it at this point. But just throwing that out there for anyone who does have a halo, watch out so that you don't trip with your baby. All right, so put together the halo is done. Vacuum we're going to do tomorrow. Brennan said he'll do that tomorrow while I'm at my hair salon. I'm happy about it. The list is done in my opinion. It is 9.32. Brennan's been awesome. Like I didn't even have to ask him to come do the halo. It's kind of late and he still did it anyway and it only took like 20 minutes. And he just put my plant back by the window so it's out of the bathtub which means I can take a hot bath and then slide into this bed that I did not make today. Let's be real lately the bed never gets made because, because I'm always in it so <sighs> anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.